Hi there, my name's Richard McMunn from howtobecome.com and in a second I'm going to walk through this door and undertake a live prison officer interview. So if you have a prison officer interview coming up anytime soon, make sure you stay tuned, watch this presentation from start to finish because I will help you to pass it. So let's get into the interview and I'll teach you how to pass your prison officer interview. Let's go. Enter. Hi sir, my Hi. name's Richard. Hi Richard. Nice to meet you. And you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Please take a seat. Thank you very much. Welcome to the interview Richard. My name's Andrew and this is my colleague Joshua. Today we're going to be interviewing you for the role of prison officer. So if you're sitting comfortably and ready, can you tell us why you want to become a prison officer? Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed for this prison officer position today. There are several reasons why I would like to be a prison officer. First and foremost, I have read the job description and the person specification in detail, and I believe that the skills, the qualities and the experience I've gained over the years will enable me to quickly become a competent prison officer. I also want to be a prison officer because I want the type of role where I am constantly pushed and challenged and where I get to learn new things. And of course, being a prison officer, no two days are ever the same. I also want to be a prison officer because I will get the opportunity to work in a team environment alongside other like-minded professionals. And I find that appealing. I don't want to work in isolation. I want to work alongside other people who are all striving to achieve the same goal. And that is, of course, to rehabilitate offenders. And I find that appealing in the role of a prison officer. So I will get in the position to influence offenders, get to help them prepare for going back into society. And I find that very appealing. Finally, I want to be a prison officer because of the level of responsibility that comes with this position. As I mentioned, I've already read the job description in detail and I find all of the various different responsibilities appealing. Thank you. What duties and responsibilities will you have as a prison officer? I believe I have a good understanding of the different duties and responsibilities required in the role of a prison officer because I have read the job description in detail. So I will have the responsibility of supervising, managing and monitoring prisoners throughout my daily work. And I will also need to make sure that I take care of their welfare whilst they are serving their time in prison. I will need to make sure that I carry out checks of prisoner numbers to make sure that prisoners are in the exact location that they need to be and during a specific time period. I, as a prison officer, will need to respond to incidents quickly and also make the right decisions that are in line with prison rules and regulations. And I will have to carry out lots of security checks and conduct inspections of prison cells. I'll be required to give prisoners advice, deal with prisoners' requests, and also make sure that I am aware of prisoners' rights. And I will also have that duty and responsibility of helping prisoners to get ready for release and making sure that I help them to rehabilitate. And finally, I will have to carry out accurate written reports based on the type of things that prisoners may do and also how they are responding during their time in prison. Thank you. What skills and qualities are needed to be a prison officer? There are various skills and qualities needed to be a competent prison officer. These include being able to communicate effectively, both in writing and when speaking. You also need to be a good listener because you need to listen to prisoners to enable you to take care of their welfare and also assist them during their rehabilitation period. You need to be a good influencer and you need to have exceptional attention to detail skills because you cannot make mistakes, especially when you are carrying out security checks and checking prisoner numbers. You need to be a really good team worker because a prison can only operate effectively if all the prison staff and everyone involved works effectively as part of a team. You need to act out your duty safely and also make sure that you follow all the prison rules, policies and operational procedures at all times. You need to be assertive, you need to have confidence and you need to be resilient in difficult times. And you also 
need to make sure that you have the skills and qualities based on being able to act quickly and make the right decisions, again, in line with the operational procedures of the prison. Finally, you need to have a good level of maturity and have strong values and work ethics too. Thank you. Tell me about a time when you made a difficult decision under pressure. I believe I'm very good at making difficult decisions under pressure. And one particular situation comes to mind in a previous role where I was working on a construction site. Now one morning, a set of contractors turned up and they were due to carry out some work on the construction site. Now unfortunately, when I spoke to them, they didn't have a suitable risk assessment in place for the works that they were going to carry out. And this caused a major problem. Did I let them into the site without a risk assessment? Or was I going to refuse them entry, which would then mean the project would be put back? So I decided to make a fast decision and I refused them entry because I did not believe it was worth taking the risk. They would be in danger and also the other construction workers would be in danger too because they didn't have a suitable risk assessment. I then needed to decide what I was going to do moving forward and I made a number of phone calls and managed to find suitable contractors who already had pre-written out risk assessments for this particular element of work and within a couple of hours they were on site and acting safely in line with the relevant risk assessment. Now even though this was an unpopular decision to make by refusing those contractors the right to work, it was the right thing to do, everybody was safe and by acting quickly and decisively I managed to get that day's work completed. Thank you. How would you deal with a prisoner who was demonstrating threatening behaviour? Whenever dealing with a situation where a prisoner was demonstrating threatening behaviour, my first priority would be the safety of the prisoner, the safety of myself, and also the safety of my prison officer work colleagues. And I would always make sure that I followed the training that I had received when I first became a prison officer, and also the rules and procedures that the prison had in place for dealing with this type of scenario. So I would speak to the prisoner confidently and I would be assertive in my actions, but I would also be cautious not to make any actions that would escalate how they were feeling or do anything that could make the situation worse. And I would speak to them and try to make them see sense and explain the consequences of their actions. And I would also ask them questions if appropriate to try and find out what the trigger points were for making them act in the way that they were. And I would try and find a quick resolution to this situation. I would also in the beginning, if applicable, notify my prison officer work colleagues so that I could get back up in place if required. But at all times I would act safely and I would make sure that I followed the training and the rules and procedures that were in place at the prison. If you would like to access my full prison officer mock interview videos and answer templates, click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video. It will take you through to my website howtobecome.com and you can access the full prison officer mock interview. You also get to download all of the answers, all of the answers in template format and you can use them to help you to pass your own prison officer interview. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I am on a mission to help you to pass your interview and I can only do that if you are subscribed. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video and it's always good to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. And please don't forget to give that video a like, give it a thumbs up because that motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out that link right now, access my full prison officer mock interview videos and templates and I wish you all the best for passing your prison officer interview. Have a brilliant day.